Hello and welcome to Crater Lake Map for Farming Simulator 19. I'm UK Gamer 808 and I'll be taking you on this first look map tour of Crater Lake, which was made by Catalyzer Gaming. It was also made Rogue River, Oasis Springs and Wilhelmina Forest. So this is a forestry map, but we do have farming available on it. So let's go over and look at the map overview and you can see there's the crater right in the middle and then we've got all our farm area well not farm area our south point stain this way and then we've got the road which runs right the way around the edge with which we've got these little areas where we can start clearing trees and it goes right the way around to the other side now we currently own let's zoom out that's what you currently own you so you do own the roads so if you want to do a bit of snow plowing, you can do. And this is all the area you own at the moment, which includes biogas, which is only 44,502. Now the rest of the land is pretty cheap anyway, it's 178,000 for that one. And then we work into these other forestry areas in there, 121, 128, 118. So, you know, not too much money at all. You can't buy the, the uh, lake, but it seems like you can buy pretty much everything else now this area here is just water at the moment but you can I've added a few extra bits so modification is allowed we can do it there's no issues with it but overall yeah some of us to 216 267 thousand so not huge amounts of money but a hell of a lot of wood now go to the cell points and we have a barn biogas which price of biogas is average is 360 on the silage and then 180 on the manure and, and slurry and then we've got the central grain elevator which prices aren't too bad for that we've got soya beans at the moment at 1379 then i've added a edge grain vault selling station as well so you can place one of those or as many as you want on here and then we have the sawmill which is doing your wood chips at 115 and the spinnery so we do have places to sell but not loads of places so let's start off we're at the farmhouse which let's get the map on there so you can see we're down at the bottom just there and you come up this little track and we come to this farmhouse which we've seen these before these are great farmhouse but we're not tired so we're sleeping in there and then head all the way back down the track and you see we are up at a little bit of a higher elevation where the farmhouse is situated and we come down this track down to the animal dealer which is just here so click on that there now there's a few other areas over there we'll go round this way though and get those on the return back you can see all these areas there's plenty of trees in the middle but there's a lot you can clear out and this is all pretty pretty flat this area so we come into the biogas plant which we've got two large silo bunkers just over there and then the drop off it looks like we've got to load into this one as a uh, I haven't checked it let me know if you've if you can drop on the floor because I haven't tried that out and then our slurry uh, digestate point is just there and we also have a lime station just over here well, the same thing again you can clear out all these trees and it's quite a big open area and then we head up this way and we have the central grain elevator which our drop off for that is into there and then the road carries on round you can see there's loads loads you can do a hell of a lot with this area you can see it's all pretty flat as soon as these trees are taken out there's a you can do a lot because there is no actual farmyard as such on this map we've just got the house and then uh, that's your lot so we head our way down that way and there's the animal dealer just 
on the right and then we head down to the barn drop off point which is this building just here and then we head on round to the spinnery so all these cell points are quite condensed they're all in the one location so the spinnery drop off just there and just so you get your bearings that's where the work you can get out of the trees that's the animal dealer there and that's the little lane just over there over where the farmhouse is so we head on down this way now and this takes us down towards the shop area and this map is not flat at all it does um, on the way round it does rise up in elevation so we come down to the sawmill and we got a large gantry train here so that's the drop off for your wood chips and then we come round to the back and we got a couple of different chevron markers for dropping off for your wood start off in game with the man which uh, that's a nice bit of kit although you don't want to take it off road it doesn't like it off road and then we got the sampo as well so there they are in the garage at the moment the slot count on that was 441 I've added a few others but you you get the sampo the man the lizard pickup uh, chainsaw or did I buy that I can't remember actually I've added that and then the farm ice that's all you get with that so if we delete all the slots right we have 215 out of the 1299 slots came which is a very very low can't beat that we can do a lot of modification on this map so you can just start making money we own enough land where you can start chopping all these trees down around here anyway so we have got the gantry train just here which this is all working no issues with it I just wish that would swivel the opposite way but they never do so that's the drop off for your selling wood and then we come over and we have our fuel station which is just there and you see it's quite a big open area where I put the grain edge silo the selling station over there and then we've got our shop which is a small little shop here and the workshop trigger is right in the back park in that area jump out there's the trigger for it just there and there's a buy point and a cash point but quite a big area I just wish that wasn't in the middle there it would have been nicer if that was tucked away I suppose you have got that area there and you can expand on all this now going over this way we have the little bay area and you can see I've been out messing around where you can add you can reclaim this bit of land if you want to I haven't found any issues really just with the other water area on the left hand side you can really do a lot with but most of the terrain everywhere else you can do stuff with even with trees there it still lets you um, use the landscaper which uh, most maps that doesn't happen let's close that door wrong way there we go so yeah we've got this little every heart here with our little crane well quite a big crane and our beach area but looking out over that way you can see we've got quite a few higher bits of land it's not flat at all whatsoever right so we drive on round now which you go up this way now just put a little map on and then we can head into the woodland and there is a hell of a lot of trees but a lot of money hell of a lot of money to be made and we have got the border markers as well with the red and the yellow and then we head down this way where this one comes back on itself you can see the train we're going up a little bit in elevation and then down again to a nice flat area nice starting point that one especially where you are there you can clear out everything quite close to the sawmill but we have got sawmill placeables anyway so you don't need to be anyway I have for fun I, I do like getting getting the rigs back to the sawmill especially if you've got a, 
larger load. Right, so back out onto the main road and we'll head up head up this way and some of these roads there, they're awesome. Nice bit of terrain up and down on them. And going down the hill again. Pretty cool. Now it's nine o'clock, it just got nine o'clock in the morning and the lighting on this map, no issues whatsoever. Pretty cool. You see we got an LMC LMC? NMC <laughs> Griffin ready to go there. Now I'll tell you what, let's scroll over to Crater Lake itself, which I have got a man there, and it would be the last one, wouldn't it? And there you can see we're in the middle now. There is the crater itself, which huge amounts of trees. Now all of this you can change the land. Is I was surprised you could do it with trees there. Most of the time it wouldn't have it if you got trees there. You can see I did a little bit over here. I've just been messing around and got this man in here, the new uh, truck. This is awesome. This got in here, no issues whatsoever. So that is the crater there. Let's go back. Right, and the road gets a bit tight round here. But you see how bright it is where, with all these trees. Some of these maps, they're uh, really dark, but not on this one. Pretty cool. Top job. Why those doors keep opening up? I sold one of the um, logs and we were getting 6,300, so not too bad on prices. Pretty good money. Uh, we are on normal settings at the moment. So it'd probably go up to, uh, if you put it on easy, probably be 20 odd grand a tree. You can see there's quite a few areas all dotted around there's those boundary markers and another nice area but overall it looks fantastic I'm gonna do one of these logging maps because what I'd like to do is come in start clearing an area and uh, doing some doing some farming the only downside is you're not going to be able to use workers because there is no fields already currently set up on it and no missions or anything because there is no fields you can't put missions on fields what don't exist let's see how bright it is it's 20 to 10 now and awesome map well i'm going to give this a go with the plow in i think with the new man and put it on seasons and be a whole different game. I couldn't have done that again if I tried. Yeah, when I saw these, it is like, whoa, what the hell are they? But it is for the boundary markers for the different plots of land. Right, well, that's your lot for Crater Lake map. Well, Crater Lake map tour. It is a nice looking map. I haven't had any problems with any modification on it. It hasn't been any issues whatsoever. Like I said, you can put the ground through the trees. It's uh, pretty cool. Can't be that. I hope you've enjoyed this map tour. And if you did, always appreciate you smash that like button for me. And if you are new to the channel, why not go and check out one of my hundreds of other farming simulator videos. I've got a few more videos I'm going to catch up on today. So keep your eye out for them. They'll be out later on. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.